We're down here in Southwest Texas uh, looking for exotics, Audad, uh, Psyca. I was down here earlier in the year hunting hogs and we stumbled upon some Audad and, uh, and a ram stopped there and let us look at them. Outside of the fact that Audad are just beautiful, they're impressively sized, they're very muscly and you know if you're going to hunt with a with a handgun, especially large caliber handguns. Animals that are a tougher target or you really need to put good, a good hit on. Uh, you need bullet energy to, to take them down. That's really exciting. They're, they're an exceptional animal to, to hunt, especially with a handgun. Today, we're using a, a Smith uh, Performance Center 460. For the handgun hunter, we have, you know, moving beyond, say, the 44 mag, I've been shooting big bore handguns for, you know, 20 years. We now have calibers and models that are uh, really tailored to the handgun hunter and calibers with energy levels well beyond what we had, you know, 20 years ago. While Trevor makes his way to the blind, let's learn more about the sights that he's using on his Smith & Wesson Performance Center 460 XVR. Hi, I'm Trevor with high -Vis Shooting Systems. I have the Smith & Wesson Performance Center XVR here with a prototype rear sight uh, with interchangeable fiber optics. And I'd like to show you a little bit about how it works and how to change the fibers. The tool we use has a small fin right here molded into the side of the tool. And then we see a locking groove in the center of the light pipe and this machine feature right here which locks the light pipe. So what we want to do is insert this at a slight angle. And the angle follows the line right here on the tool and push that fin into the locking groove in the fiber and then twist backwards. And as you put pressure and twist, you'll see the light pipe start to protrude out the back of the sight. And then you can use, or I use, this end of the tool just to push it out. To insert the fiber, you just guide it in place, push it in until it locks, and that's how you change the fibers. The rear sight will come with green, red, and black fibers, and you can interchange and reuse them. First day I got here, we went out and did an uh, evening hunt and uh, set up on uh, one spot where anything could come in, And uh, but the Audad had been coming in there and uh, we were fairly hopeful. We, uh, they hadn't been in there for quite a while, so we got in there and got set up and uh, animals started moving right away. Uh, we had deer, turkey, then one Audad appeared basically out of nowhere. You know, you glance to your, you glance to your left, you come back and, and there they are, they just appear. They're amazingly suspicious. They just wait and look and wait and look, and it's really unlike anything else I've hunted. He milled around a little bit, and he just acted like he was looking for a reason to leave. We just decided then that we needed to go ahead and take a shot. Did you get it? I got it. <laughs> what do you think? That's awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> Boy, they, they are really weary. Yeah, I told you. He said he's going to come, he's going to stand, he's going to look forever. Well, wow. You're right. That was awesome. You put him down right where he was standing. That's pretty impressive <laughs> for an odd ad. <laughs> drop an odd ad like that is pretty good. <laughs> I'm not going to say that uh, nothing's a guarantee in hunting, but if you put it where you need, where it should go, that's what I expected to see. You know, he, he gave me a quarter and away shot, and um, uh, Grizzly Ammo put the put the hammer on. <laughs> One shot dropped him right where he stood. Uh, 460 is pretty impressive. Well, we're on day two with Trevor Young as he returns to his previous location, this time on the hunt for a U. Well, day two, we're back in the same blind. We shot a nice ram yesterday, uh, and he was the only one that came in. Um, so we didn't see the rest of them, but we're looking for possibly an Audad U uh, or a Saika or a pig. So we got a little while to wait, but they came in, they were moving around yesterday um, pretty early, some turkeys, white tail, which was good. They came in, you know, 
uh, with a lot more light than we thought. We thought they might be here close to dark. So we'll see if we get some more movement early here and uh, hopefully that'll be a good sign that uh, we'll see what we're looking for. We did not have as much activity starting off early in the evening. It was really just still and dead. Very little wind. You know, we're still hopeful though. All of a sudden the switch came on and animals started coming in. We had two small Audad ram and of course we're looking for a U, so uh, right away we have only rams come in. Then we had another Audad and we were pretty sure that one was a U, but we weren't we had we had to wait on it uh, just to make sure. That took a while, yeah, gotta be patient. But, uh, you know, it paid off. Uh, she got a lot closer, probably half the distance, which uh, always makes it a lot better with a handgun. Well, we're gonna go out here and take a look at where she was when we shot, and uh, hopefully she didn't go too far. She went off this direction. Oh, that's, that looks like a fresh track. Oh, I, I think I see you right down there. So we had a couple small rams come in first, um, and they moved off. And uh, uh, then this just this single ewe came in, where we thought she was a ewe. So uh, she sat there, was straight on to us, and just wouldn't really turn and give us a good look. We were pretty sure she was a ewe at first, but we just really had to wait and make sure. But it worked out in our favor because she came probably about 20 yards closer. But what an awesome hunt. They really know what's going on around them and they, and they don't want to commit until they're sure. And uh, uh, they're just, they're awesome animals. And uh, uh, taking them with a handgun uh, makes it that much better. Well, this was a super exciting hunt. Just a great experience from the first night where we have a ram come right in almost on script. I mean, the, the ram and the ewe were shot within probably 10 feet of each other. It really worked just how we planned it. It certainly doesn't always happen that way. I was fortunate to make good shots on both animals. I was really excited to be invited back down and come down and have the opportunity to shoot an odd dad. And it was a great experience. We couldn't have scripted it any better.